I, it's, I am an environmental survivalist. And today I'm going to be showing you how to survive out in the wild. Alright, let's do it. It's very dangerous out in the wild, especially in this Arctic environment landscape as you can see here. We got the farm over there, which is very dangerous. You see, and, and we got the, the soccer girl. So to ensure your safety, you have to ice skate. So, once you have that out of the way, you are safe to go. So, you must gather food to stay warm and to burn the calories and the, the protein and all the necessary nutrients you need. So you you, you find the the you find you find Acadia nuts and you find them in bushes. See, we found one here. They are very nutritious and they keep you hydrated, which is very important because of the you don't want the yellow snow. And so you have got to be very careful when approaching these bushes as they can make you slip and ice skate more. So okay, looks like we found a berry here. So you got to break them off and you got to be very uh, careful not to eat too many because you want to keep, uh, you want to conserve your rations, see? So you only want to take a little bit, but they're poisonous so you only want to chew them for a little bit and get out the nutrients that you need and you want to put the rest of your rations in your pocket like this. Be very careful to do it right, like this. Like that. So, now that we have necessary food that we need for surviving, now we can go enjoy our wonderful landscape and have the good of both worlds. So, um, now we can enjoy our wonderful landscape, as you can see here, and we can enjoy the goodness in it. But to be very, you know, to, to make sure, to ensure your, your survival, you have to eat to conserve your rations, okay? So here, cameraman, um, Mr. Bill, here. So you want to see, look, this is this is um, a good, very good example. This is just a, uh, a uh, very good, um, no, uh, uh, typical um, mid, mid age, uh, middle aged man, see? And so to keep his good health and, and, and yeah, you want to put the berry in his hand so he can eat it. Delicious, right? Yeah, so very, they're, not, they're not delicious, but they're very good. They're, they're very good for your health, so yeah. So you want to be very careful when putting your rations away, see? You want to, they're very, 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 very delicate. So you want to put them in your pocket like so. You want to be very careful when doing so. So to ensure your warmth, you want to keep this coat of yours on your head because did you know that 130% of your heat is stored in your head and it's stored in your brain from memory so you want to keep it you want to keep it warm there so yeah it's very important because otherwise you'll eat too much ice cream and you'll get a, a brain freeze okay you get a, a brain freeze and that's very bad when trying to survive out in the arctic landscape as you can see like so like so like here as you can see so Yes, that is, that is very another very important step of ensuring your safety and surviving out in the Arctic. So it's starting to get dark out, and you know it's it's very dangerous out. It's very dangerous out in the Arctic when it's dark. So it's very important to make sure that you have the necessary uh, you have the necessary rations. You have necessary rations of the berries and you have the necessary shelter 
that you need to survive out in the Arctic. So, as you can see here, they are sometimes very rare to find, but you can sometimes find very helpful and very warming um, uh, shelters that are just naturally made. They grow from uh, these very rare seeds that are made from gooses, and the gooses plant them and then they grow. So as you can see, there's one here, and the gooses have, has very kindly laid some more berries here. So what you want to do is you want to uh, use this very important shelter, yet there's one thing we need to do before we can use it, and that is we have to complete building it. Because the goose, you know, mother, mother Nature doesn't always completely complete things necessary for survival. You know, it's not normal for a, uh, a human to live out in the Arctic. So, in order to compensate for that, we have to do some things for ourselves. So, as you complete the structure, like so, you can now use your uh, shelter. So, since it's starting to get dark here, you want to stay warm so in order to not disturb the animal you want to put um, sound and heat insulation by putting by putting in some snow so that way uh, they're not disturbed and the sound that we, that us humans make uh, don't disturb the animal and they keep in the insulation for the heat for the cold winter uh, time and in the Arctic yet they are still soon going to be um, successful in survival as spring is almost among us as you can see here as like, like so like so as you can see So, it uh, looks like we are ready to move on now that this animal is safe and sound and undisturbed. We just want to keep it like that because uh, it's very important now that with global warming these days, you want to keep it very, very safe and undisturbed. Otherwise, it will imbalance the ecosystem. So, yeah. So, now what you want to do... Okay, so um, now we'll shoot. Okay, so looks like we've survived enough in the wild now. So we've survived uh, day four here. We've survived day four. And we are completely ready for survival. And I hope this tutorial video has taught you something about uh, the Arctic area. And so, as you can see here, as you can see, like so, like so. It's a very barren landscape, isn't it? Anyways, uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you later. Uh, and well, we will do a new episode soon. Yes, and I hope to see you soon. And thank you for watching, and goodbye. As you can see, see like so, like so. The very barren landscape.